Hey y'all, I'm back. Today I'm going to show you my recipe for corn casserole. So over here I got two packs of Jiffy cornbread mix. You want to use the Jiffy, you got to have the sweet cornbread for this. I got four cans of cream stall corn, three eggs, cup and a half of sour cream, and over here I got two sticks of butter. I'm going to put this butter in this pan in the oven and I'm going to let it melt. And then what you do is you you add you'll add like your Jiffy. You'll add your Jiffy in your bowl. We get over here where you can see it better. Okay, so I got my Jiffy. I got my eggs. I'm gonna add all my corn. I'm kinda doing this one-handed, so y'all have to bear with me today. You add your corn, and then um, after I get all my corn in, I'm gonna add my sour cream. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to bring y'all back because I'm gonna have to do the sour cream and then come back. So in here, I got two packs of Jiffy, four cans of cream stall corn, three eggs. I'm gonna put um, a cup and a half of sour cream. I'm gonna melt two sticks of butter, and then when I come back. I'll be putting my melted butter into this mixture, stirring it up, and then it goes back in the pan. And I bake it on 350 for probably about an hour. So I'll bring you back and show you what I'm, I'm going to do after the butter is melted. Okay, y'all. So um, I got my melted butter right here. I've done added in my sour cream and stirred, um, stirred it up with the eggs because... You don't want to add this hot butter in there with those eggs because then it'll scramble them and that just won't be good. So just stir this up really good. Oh, I'm telling y'all, this right here is just, this right here is so good. Just stir it up till it's all mixed in. When it comes out, it's just kind of fluffy and it's just good. You can even add some um, pickled jalapenos in with this if you want to. But I'm not going to because I'm, I'm cooking this for someone. And I just want to make sure that everybody can eat it. So. There's that. And then you come over here and see your pan's already, already greased real good because it's got that um, butter in it. You just pour it in. And then I put it in my oven. And I put it on 350 bake for probably a good hour. And then when I get it done and it's ready, I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Here's my finished corn casserole. Just come out of the oven. If you, if you shake it, it's still just a hair wobbly. But if you touch it, it is set. Now it will it'll sink down just a little bit as it cools, but this right here is delicious. So y'all give it a try. <laughs> 